Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tech. Thanks for dropping by to my channel to view this awesome tutorial that will help you in many ways. And uh, in this video, I'll be sharing with you on how to convert your Sony A7C or be it any other Sony camera that you might have into an awesome 4K webcam or streaming device. So all you need is a capture card and a tool that will record this live feed. So you can see behind me, I'm right now using the OBS Studio 26.0.1 to capture all this live feed. So of course you need to have the hardware. So the hardware that I'm using is from Elgato. Let me show you. So the device is Camlink 4K from Elgato. So with this device you can level up your content. It's simple. You can capture your footage in 4K as well as HD and furthermore you can just plug in produce is that simple let me show you how to do it on your sony a7c thank you for dropping by to my channel tag tagged Let's start with the physical setup. Uh, to connect your Sony A7C, you need three devices. Of course, I've shown you the Elgato Camlink 4K capture card. Uh, prior to that, you need uh, the Type-C USB cable to power up your Sony A7C camera. Secondly, you need to get the mini HDMI to HDMI. So this HDMI cable will come in from your Sony A7C directly plugged in to the capture card. And I'll be showing you the setup shortly. So on your hardware, your Sony A7C, you got to connect the mini HDMI cable as well as the Type-C USB cable. So it will power on your Sony A7C as well as the mini HDMI connected to the Elgato Camlink 4K. So this is how it looks after plugging in the HDMI to Camlink 4K. Now use this Camlink adapter and straight away plugged in to a your PC USB port 3.0 and you should be able to see the light on the Camlink 4K. Now we have seen the physical setup on the Sony A7C to the PC. Next I will show you the settings to be done on the Sony A7C camera itself. On your Sony A7C setting go to the suitcase icon setup 3 click on HDMI settings and the resolution you can select either 4K or 1080p and then ensure the HDMI info display is turned off otherwise you'll be actually seeing all the uh, you know settings the frame itself so you need to ensure the HDMI info display is turned off so let me go back and then another thing you have to take note is USB connection it should be MTP And then the last you have to turn on the USB power supply to on. So ensure this USB power supply is turned on as well. So with these settings you are ready to do the device capturing from Sony A7C. Okay guys the physical setup as well as the Sony settings has been done. So now let's focus on the tool that I'm going to use which is the OBS Studio software. So let me show you on what are the settings that you need to focus on the OBS to you itself to capture this beautiful video recording that you are now seeing. Okay guys, right now I'm at the OBS uh, application itself. The current version is uh, 27.0.1 and uh, you can see here the workspace itself and on top you can see the scene, the canvas. This is where the so-called the live feed will be shown so on the bottom we have the scene sources audio mixers scene transition and controls the audio mixer you can see that uh, it's been capturing my voice right now and uh, I'm using a audio technica condenser mic to actually record together with this uh, Camlink 4k and uh, that's the reason it's recording my voice and it's moving up and down here so I'm going to add the so-called video device uh, capturing device here. 
so how to do it just click on the plus sign here add and then you can see video capture device select and then create new you name your video capture device as Sony A7C it's up to you the naming can be uh, anything but here I'm using my Sony A7C so to differentiate I just name that as Sony A7C so I've added and it will be automatically uh, linked to my Camlink 4K which I already plugged in to my PC that's the reason it's showing up on the screen right now and uh, since my uh, camera is uh, recording in the so-called uh, 4K size the canvas behind is actually uh, a bit larger so I have to resize and keep it to the screen size when it comes to the properties uh, settings just leave all the default settings at, as it is so do not change anything just leave it and uh, you're good to go so once you're okay just click OK and then you can start recording the important thing that I would like you to take note is the audio mixer itself so on the audio mixer the settings just right click advanced for audio properties and then it will bring you to the advanced audio properties here on the sync offset ensure the sync offset is 2 to 4 millisecond so this ensure that your audio your video are in sync so you will not have any kind of lag between your voice and the video which has been captured I've heard many stories saying that uh, many people saying that uh, the OBS or the Camlink 4K freeze or lags and so on but uh, I actually done uh, some setting tweaks on my system itself to actually to prevent this uh, freezing and lag so uh, let me show you what are the settings that I tweak in my system itself so uh, go to your start icon and then right click and select power options and go to additional power settings on power and sleep page it will bring you to this uh, customized power plan and ensure you have been uh, checked on high performance so always be on high performance when you're doing a uh, capturing uh, any video from uh, Sony A7C using Camlink 4K so on the change plan settings and then you select change advanced power settings and then uh, go to this USB settings here and then open up USB selective suspend setting ensure this setting is disabled so do not suspend USB settings ensure this is disabled so this is the first one that you need to take note in order to avoid freezing or lag and then you click apply and OK the second step that you need to take note is uh, again go to start right click click on device manager on the device manager go to the bottom very bottom which is the universal serial bus controllers and then select all the USB uh, options there right click properties go to power management and you will see this allow the computer to turn off the device to save power ensure this is not checked okay this has to be unchecked every time so do it for all your USB bus controllers so this will help you save any lag or freeze on your OBS recording using the Camlink 4K so this is my important tip to you with this you can start recording do a live capturing using your Sony A7C so now let's go back to the live feed from Sony A7C I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial and uh, benefited from this if you are looking for a so called a capturing device this Camlink 4K is the best capturing device that I can recommend to you and with OBS Studio you can do wonders if you like this video do give a thumbs up and if you are here for the first time 
do consider subscribing to my channel this is Malik here signing off bye guys